Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the Project Manager Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. We are starting a series of free online lessons in mathematics for senior secondary schools in Nigeria. These lessons are ideal for those preparing for JAM, SSC, GC, NAPTEP, and even students in the senior secondary 1, 2, and 3. We are covering the entire syllabus for all these examination bodies. So today we're going to be starting mathematics with the laws of indices, the laws of indices, the laws of indices. Okay. Now, suppose we want to play with these numbers in this form. Of course, you know that mathematics is, is about playing with numbers, just the way children love to play with toys. In maths, what we do is to play with numbers, which is our toys. Now, supposing we want to play with these numbers in this format, for example, you have, um, let's continue this way, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, 5, 2, making it 6. Now, let's write another array of 2 again, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 that's about 4 times 2 that's about 5 let's write another array the third one now 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that's about 4 let's make another array let's say 2 times 2 times 2 that's three of them there okay now these numbers can be expressed in the form of 2 raised to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have 6 twos here. So this number can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 6. This one can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 raised to the power 5. This one can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 4. And this last one can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 3. All right, let's move on. All right, we have expressed the long arrays of 2 in the form of 2 raised to the power 6, 2 raised to the power 5, 2 raised to the power 4, and 2 raised to the power 3. Now, let's try to understand some basic concept about these numbers. For example, let me bring down these 2 raised to the power 6. This 2 here is called the base. And this 6 here is called the index. The index. Okay. Similarly, this, let me bring down these 2 raised to the power 5. In the same manner, this 2 here is called the base. And this 5 here is called the index. From what we've understood above, this 6 here, this 5, this 4, and these 3 are called the indices. They are called the indices. We call them indices. So the 6, the 5, the 4, the 3 are called the indices. Now let's move on. Now, let, let, let me bring the numbers down here. 2 raised to the power 6, 2 raised to the power 5, 2 raised to the power 4, and 2 raised to the power 3. Now, supposing we want to perform these operations like this. Say, 2 raised to the power 6 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 5. Or, we even say, 2 raised to the power 5 divided by 2 raised to the power 3. Now, for you to be able to perform these kind of operations, we have to follow certain rules or guidelines or what is referred to as laws. And these laws are referred to as the laws of indices. These laws are referred to as the laws of indices. So let's go to study the laws of indices. Okay, now law number one 
a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power n is equal to a m plus n that is rule number one notice what we've done to the indices when you multiply during multiplication or when performing a multiplication operation you simply add up the indices okay that is rule number one now let's go to rule number two a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n is equal to a m minus n notice what we did to the indices when you are dividing or when you are performing a division you simply subtract the indices okay now let's go to rule number three a raised to power m bracket open and close raised to the power n is equal to a m n this is very simple all you have to do is to multiply this index by the power to which the index is raised to okay you multiply the index by the power to which the index and the base are raised to okay now let's move to rule number four all right rule number four the simplest of, of them all rule number four says that a raised to the power zero is equal to one a raised to the power zero is equal to one now it simply means here that anything raised to the power zero is equal to one anything raised to the power zero is equal to one now sometimes how do you come about these circumstances of a raised to the power zero take for example you have a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power m this is equal to that's followed the laws of indices according to the law of indices it becomes a m minus m and this becomes what a raised to the power zero and this is equal to one okay okay now let's move to rule number five let's move to rule number five now rule number five says that a raised to the power minus n is equal to one over a raised to the power n a raised to the power minus n is equal to one over a raised to the power n all right let's move on now now let me show you some circumstances that would lead to this kind of expression now supposing we have um, an expression like this a raised to the power zero divided by a raised to the power n now this is the same as writing a raised to the power zero minus n i believe you know what i'm doing a raised to the power zero divided by a raised to the power n is the same thing as writing a raised to the power zero minus n now this is the same thing as writing a raised to power zero minus n is the same thing as minus n now you can see it and this becomes is equal to one over a raised to power n now let me let me put it this way for more clarity supposing we we put this one like this equal to okay um a raised to the power zero over a raised to the power n aha uh -huh. i think you will understand it better this way a raised to the power zero divided by a raised to the power n is the same thing as what we've done here is the same thing as what we've done here a raised to the power zero divided by a raised to the power n is the same thing as what we have here now this is the same thing as a raised to the power zero is equal to one and a n i hope that is clear so these are the circumstances that will lead you to a raised to the power minus n is equal to 1 over a n. That is rule number 5. Now let's go to rule number 6. Rule number 6 says that a raised to the power 1 over n 
is equal to the root a of n a raised to the power 1 over n is the root a of n okay that is rule number six now rule number seven rule number seven okay says that a raised to the power m over n is equal to root a of n raised to the power m our rules are getting more complicated our rules are getting more complicated but don't worry um with time you will get to understand them so a raised to the power m over n is root a of n all raised to the power m okay so this is the last rule or the last law in the laws of indices a raised to the power n over a raised to the power m over n is equal to root a of n all raised to the power m okay now we're going to solve some simple problems involving laws of indices let's move on so now we're going to take some examples for example let's have these examples let's take some examples now so example one let's take example one five raised to the power three multiply by five raised to the power four okay five raised to the power three multiply by five raised to the power four in the laws of indices we say that when you are multiplying you simply add the indices so this is the same as writing 5 raised to power 3 plus 4 and which is the same as writing 5 raised to power 7 now example 2 3 raised to the power 9 divided by 3 raised to the power 4 now this is the same as writing this is division so 3 raised to the power 9 minus 4 which is equal to 3 raised to the power 5 3 raised to the power 5 okay now example 3 5 raised to the power 3 bracket open and close raised to the power 2 5 raised to the power 3 bracket open and close raised to the power 2 now this is the same thing as writing 5 raised to the power 3 times 2 which is equal to 5 raised to the power 3 times 2 is 6 okay now these are simple examples as we proceed we will get to a much tougher and tougher example but with this one you will be able to assimilate and be able to understand and digest the laws of indices but let's move on example 4 now 2 raised to the power 3 divided by 2 raised to the power 3 this is the same as writing 2 raised to the power 3 minus 3 which is equal to 2 raised to the power 0 which is equal to what? 1. And this brings me to the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will continue with more sophisticated examples using laws of indices and even equations requiring laws of indices. Until then, make sure you practice. Practice, they say, makes perfect. Do not memorize these laws. One of the best ways to let these laws simmer in your heart is through constant practice. Do not forget to tell your friends, classmates, neighbors, junior ones and your uncles and aunties to learn mathematics from sunshine academy and if you have not subscribed to our channel please do so so that you can have instant access to our educational videos each time we release them we also have lessons and tutorials in subjects like chemistry physics biology geography and so on so thank you very much for watching and god bless you